Okay, so I'm sorry the video on this is going to be a bit dodgy. However, I'm going to do an um, example of how to work out the dip on your units. So the first step is, so these are our surfaces that we're interested in calculating the dip. So these are uniformly dipping flat surfaces. Okay, so what we are looking at when we see this map, this is map two, you might remember, we have the high ground up here and then we have a valley going down to the low ground. And you can see from the rule of V's that all of these units are dipping down to the bottom, the south of the map. So if we want to work out the dip for these units, first of all we're going to draw the structure contours, which are the planes of equal elevation for these surfaces. So remember we joined up the points of equal elevation for this purple line, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600 metres. Okay, and so in this side, this is just a sort of schematic cross section of what this might look like. Here's our uniformly dipping purple surface. So you can think of the structure contours as these lines of equal elevation sort of through this surface, okay? Because this would be the elevation. All right, so if we want to work out the dip on this, what we're gonna do is we're going to look at the vertical distance between the structure contours and the horizontal distance. And then we're going to use trigonometry to work out the dip, because that forms a right angle triangle. Okay, so when we look at these two structure contours, we can see, as we've done the labelling, 300, 400, 500, 600 metres, that they are 100 metres apart. So this means that the vertical distance we're looking at is 100 metres. Now, the horizontal distance is the distance between the structure contours. But this is a factor of the scale of the map. So you can see the scale of the map is 2.5 centimetres is 500 metres. So as I'm looking at this purple surface, well actually it doesn't matter because all of these are uniformly dipping, so you should be able to measure anywhere. But if you measure at 90 degrees to your structure contour line between these two lines, for 100 metres vertical distance you can see I've got 1.25 centimetres, which when we look at our scale bar is exactly halfway along our scale bar, so that is 250 metres. So for 100 metres vertical distance, we have 250 metres horizontal distance. And we are interested in this angle here, all right? So, if you remember your your trigonometry, okay? So here, this would be the opposite, this would be the adjacent, and this would be the hypotenuse. So, because we have the opposite and the adjacent, we're going to use tan. So, you see here, tan would equal opposite over, okay? So, so then the angle would equal inverse tan opposite over adjacent. So okay and so if we work that out um, then we will get an answer of 22 degrees. So our dip for this unit is 22 degrees, that is the answer. And if we wanted to know what the strike is, then what we have to do is we have to look at the orientation of these lines. So if north is at the top of the map, if we measure round from north to the orientation of these using a protractor, um, okay, so if we measure 
from north around here like this you will see that these lines are at just over 80 degrees so if we go round from zero to where north is you'll say that this is 86 degrees so our strike and dip is 86 and we always write that as three digits so 086 with a dip of 22 and that is going to the south okay so if you try your map number two now you should be able to get this strike and dip of 86 degrees um, is the strike and then dipping 22 degrees to the south.